No matter how hard you try, you can't get rid of all error in quantitative UX studies. But I'll show you how to understand and communicate measurement error so you can be confident in your findings. When running a quantitative UX study, we're always trying to measure some aspect of our users, be it their opinions or behavior. Measurement error is the error we introduce when we go in and measure or observe something about our users. Measurement error can come from different sources, such as the number of participants, individual variation between participants, testing environment, or other outside factors. Here's an example. I want to know how long it takes my users to complete a checkout flow on my e-commerce website. So I recruit 30 users and record their time on task. The information, we'll call it the true score I'm shooting for, is the experience for my entire user base. But I can't access that. So I must settle with what I can observe, observed score, which will be that true score plus some measurement error. In this example, I'll have some error from my limited sample size of 30. Of course, we want quantitative studies to reliably assess user behavior and sentiments about the products we design. We might reduce our measurement error by increasing our sample size and recruiting additional participants to our study. Here's how to communicate measurement error in your studies. The field of statistics exists to encapsulate and communicate uncertainty. And a major tool to communicate that uncertainty is confidence intervals. Where possible, include confidence intervals to show the range of where a true score may lie. Presenting confidence intervals with your results tells stakeholders, while quantitative studies are always approximate, they still provide meaningful insight about the likely range in which the information we seek resides. We can't avoid error in our studies, so it's our responsibility to limit it where we can and communicate our findings with the appropriate confidence. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website and in group.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our virtual UX conferences that offer live, hands-on UX training.